once you have completed the quiz then come to the your google classroom page and you can see on the right hand side you have to give the details so this is quiz is for 10 marks and if there is any due date you have to add a due date so let me say it is 31st time let it be 11:59 so in which topic this quiz has to be added i am adding to introduction to nucleus and if you want to give any rubric you can give if everything is over now you click on assign before giving assigning that one there will be some options will be there that is one is assign that means it will immediately assign the quiz to the student another one is schedule you have, you may uh, if you want to give the quiz some bit later say the weekend you can give you can in that way you can schedule it you say if you click that one it will ask for the details of time when to release it you can schedule that one but now for simplicity to ex in our case i am assigning that you can also save as draft without scheduling as well as assigning you can prepare and save it as a draft and later you can schedule it also so these options are available before assigning but now i am assigning so that is being assigned so now it is assigned now you can see in the main page the quiz number 1 is appearing and showing that the due date is june july 31st so before july 31st it has to be completed and it will also be streaming here you can see quiz number 1 it is streaming and this upcoming event it is showing that is due friday quiz number 1 1159 is this one so this is all in the your classroom page now you can see the student page also you know how the student page is being seen that also we can see so now you, you are see that this is the student login page so the student has logged in and uh, i'm giving a refresh so that now you can see this is being updated so the student can click on this so he can go here so he can attempt the quiz so this is the quiz so he has giving his address patrick navin72 at gmail.com so name of the student is patrick navin then he is answering say it is true say we can also give some wrong answers electrons and neutrons what is binding energy so it is uh, something something it is being typed and uh, assumptions of liquid drop model something is model assumptions these are all just for experiment for demo, demo purpose and Albert Einstein is being there so he is submitting so now the assignment is being so the quiz is being submitted by the student now the student has submitted the quizzes the answer to the quizzes so now it becomes the role of the teacher to assess the quiz and give grades so how to do it so this is your the teacher's page that is the page created by the teacher and you can see here this is and you click on that and you can see the first initially it will be assigned to one now it will be turned in that is very similar to the assignment what we discussed previously and it is here and here you can give the grades that we can finally see manually we can check and review the answers then we can give the grades so these are the grades for Patrick Deming so now how to check the answers you go to the, the the quizzes what you have created earlier there you can see the responses if it is not open here you can use the google drive and get the this page the responses page and you have responses and we patrick damin has we are, this trial is being done three times we can ignore that that is for demo purpose so these are the responses so it, there, it, there you can see three things will be there. One is summary, another one is question, and another one is individual. So summary is total for how the he has responded like that. Since this is a demo quiz, we cannot uh, finalize that one. 
but in actual queues you can see that I, what is the average what is a median and how what is the range of marks everything you can see here now here all the questions what are the questions we have asked all these things so these two are not much uh, needed now because this is a demo one now you go for the individual so if you go for the individual then you can see how he has answered so score is not uh, released and you can see he has given the email address name so the first question is nucleus is the central part of the atom so he has answered correctly so he has been given one point for the second question it is not so one answer is correct and one answer is wrong therefore it has given zero so since he has given one answer co correctly so I am reviewing it and make it in as one and immediately you have to save so this edit is saved now you can go for the so for this question earlier it was zero now it is being made as one now go for the next what is binding energy since we have not given the answers previously so it has not evaluated so for demo purpose he has written something so uh, we are giving say one mark one mark we are giving so save so it is being saved so for the next question enumerate the assumptions once again say we have not given anything in the earlier answer key so, so we partially it is correct so we we give three marks and you say and the final question it is correct because as per the answer key the answer is correct therefore one mark is given so totally it is being evaluated now you come here and you can see out of 10 he has scored seven points so once this is okay you are satisfied then you can click on release score and this is the email address of the student so that will be sent to the now you can press the send emails and now you have released the score and similarly you can go to this page and you can this is another way of releasing so you can put 7 and you can click on return so that will also send the marks to the student now the evaluation part is over so now you have evaluated and the quiz that you have given and you have sent the grades to the student also now come to the main page now you can see here uh, you can go to the grades you can check whether the grades in is being added yes now this is the quiz number one this is the class average now we are having only one student so this mark is showing as the class average but if you are evaluating for all the students then you will get the class average what is the class average from that you can identify which student is performing better than the class average and which student is performing below the class average you can identify accordingly you can take remedial steps now you can see the for the quiz the uh, scored seven marks for the assignment ten marks so that these are the grades you can monitor for your students and one more thing that it is here that is this question we have seen assignment we have seen quiz assignment that's material then topics we can see reuse post is not needed now one more thing is there that is the question that also you can use you can type some questions here and uh, as in the previous case you can uh, give the link through a Google Drive or a link or a file you can give here and you can assign and in for the question there will be only two options one is short answer another one is multiple choice other other options are not available for this one and uh, similarly you can uh, you know you are now are familiar with this one you can give say uh, 10 marks you can give a due date and all these things you can give and here is a question you can write something like that nuclear fusion and fission process give some uh, inputs something you write and it, it will be asking for uh, this one ask here also there are three options you can schedule it you can make it as a draft or you ask immediately so for now I am asking now now you can ask this one 
and I have not assigned any topic so that now this will be appearing here. Now you can see in your uh, class page this will be appearing here so that now the student will also would have received here also that will be the stream page notification page also it will be see so you can see here student will also be receiving it so they can write some answers for this what is nuclear fission and what is nu nuclear fusion and how this happens like that they can write a short answer type and they can submit and you can evaluate as you did for assignments as well as quiz so thank you very much discussions we have made on how to create a google classroom and how to post your materials how to create an assignment how to create a quiz and how to ask for general questions and all these things it is possible in google classroom thank you very much